Hey howdy fellas, my name is Blank and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a brand new method in which you can actually farm a lot of fish. Yes, you might have seen a ton of other videos as well. I made another video on fish farming in Red Dead Online on my previous video in which you can literally spawn unlimited fish and like uh, you don't really have to do anything. Just go on, pick all the fish up and make a ton of money. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a brand new method of farming fish in Red Dead Online. So you guys might have seen a plenty of videos that I've been uploading on this channel regarding the fish hunting and a couple of stuff like that. But this method actually requires you to have a carcass. So this is a carcass fishing method and you guys might have seen multiple carcass fishing methods out there. But this one particularly has like much more fish spawning in this location. So let me just show you guys the location that is right over here all the way towards the left of Blackwater. So this method was found by a youtuber named Jay Stone. I don't know if he's actually the founder of this method, but I found this information from his channel from his video. So if you guys come down all the way to the left of Blackwater, as you guys can see, there's like a small uh, lake or like a pond right over here. I don't know why, but this method works very good when you have like a turkey rather than any other animal's carcass. So I would recommend you guys to take a turkey with you guys. So you basically will be finding turkeys in like uh, much more deserted areas or like maybe areas in which there are a thick forest and stuff like that so let me just go ahead and take a look if i can actually find a turkey and also guys if you have seen another video that i posted if you guys like cross by this location you can, you can actually see that there's a cougar oh my god my horse oh jeez, my horse just literally gave up on me dude look at that there's like a cougar spawn right over here this cougar like literally spawns all the time so you can literally just come down here kill the cougar and take the carcass like look at that it's like two star cougar that's not really bad so uh, there's also another tip for you guys if you guys come down all the way over here this is where you can find the cougar i also made another video about this um the cougar seems to be spawning every time in this particular location and it's not your patch a lot of people have been saying this location is patch. So you guys have the living proof right here. I'm literally making this video right now. A uh, couple of hours before this even gets uploaded. So you can actually get cougar in this location as well. So guys, if you get down to thick forest places like this. Like, uh, hold on. As you guys can see, there is some wild turkey right over here. I just hit him. So let me just go. Oh shit, he's try <laughs> trying to run away. Get over here, boy. All right, there we go. So this is the location where I actually found turkey. So if you guys are trying to go get to that location, you know, this is where you can find a bunch of turkey. You don't have to worry about getting turkey because there's going to be a bunch of them. So guys, we finally arrived at the location and we have the turkey in our hands. So all you have to do is get down to this particular location. Do exactly as I'm doing. So once you guys are here in this location, right as you guys can see, I'm exactly right over here near the aurora basin lake or the pond or whatever you guys want to call it so make sure you guys get the turkey in a particular location so there's like a sweet spot where you need to place this turkey so you need to make sure that you're placing it in the right place so the turkey is actually supposed to be placed uh, in a location where there's like a sand as well as water so the turkey needs to touch the water so i think i'm gonna place it right over here no not this one <laughs> i'm sorry okay i need to pick this one up I need to place it a little bit more further, I guess, right over here should be good. There we go. Um, and once you place the turkey, hold on, let me see. Once you place the turkey, all you have to do is get back all the way over here, like 15 feet away from it. And just literally wait for the um, magic to happen. So as you guys can see, there are like multiple fish in this location. It's going to be coming all the way close to the uh, body of the turkey right over here. So make sure you're not too close to it. Because uh, once you're too close to it, the fish doesn't really come up to the location. So uh, make sure you guys are a little bit far away from that location. So as you guys can see, there's like one fish that's already in there. Look at that. Let me show you guys. See one over there, two over there. And there's going to be multiple, multiple fish that's going to like uh, literally come by uh, back again and again and again. And there we go. The final ones here as well. So all the fish are here, guys. So as you guys can see, we got like a multiple fish, man. Look at that. Just uh, just take a look at this, dude. How many fish are here in this location? God damn it. I'm, I literally had to do nothing at all. I am just standing here doing nothing. Um, completely just uh, waiting for the fish to like foolishly come by and uh, fall for my trap and basically that's it guys this is all you have to do
I literally got disconnected from the game the last time I was trying. I got a bunch of fish in that location, man. What a loss, dude. All right, guys, we arrived back at the same location as you guys can see. Let me just uh, remove the turkey off my horse real quick. And there we go. I hope the game does not get disconnected once again, man. I'm f I'm crossing my fingers right now. It is super annoying when game gets disconnected right when you're doing something interesting. So let me just find that sweet spot in which like I placed the turkey last time. I think this was the spot, wasn't it? All right, there we go. So uh, place the turkey in a spot where there's a bunch of water. And there we go. There's a bunch of fish right over there as well. So we'll get all the way back away from the uh, turkey. So you don't want to be standing any close to the turkey, like I said before, because uh, it does not attract fish. So if you're at the far, you are the better chance of the fish uh, falling for your trap. So make sure that you guys are a little bit away from the turkey. As you guys can see, like, look at that. Like how many fish are coming by. Dude, this is insane. Like, already two fish right over here. This is one of the easiest ways of making money in Reddit Online, I believe. One of the easiest, but the method that I showed you guys yesterday is even better. So look at that. I'm just picking up a couple of these fish. Make sure you guys pick all of these up, because uh, if you leave all of these fish right over here and uh, wait for even more to spawn in, the fish does not get attracted if there are like a bunch of fish dead in this location. So make sure you guys pick up all of these fish and collect them. Put them onto your pockets and I believe you get like a medium sized fish over here as well. Look at that, the large mouth bass. This one actually pays you about $2.5 each and you can literally make like $20 if you have a bunch of them. So what do you guys think about the previous uh, fish farming method that I just showed you guys on uh, yesterday's video? That one's pretty good as well. But I want you guys to decide if this method is actually more efficient than the previous method that I showed you guys where you can like run over like a lunatic and like collect all the f dead fish that are in there. And it actually gives you about three star fish. And this method also gives you three star fish. So I want to know which method do you guys prefer? Which one would you guys be doing? And I also do understand that the location that I showed you guys on yesterday's video is going to be filled up with a ton of players by now. And I don't think that a lot of players do already know about this method. I know everybody seems to be hanging around near Blackwater. Like that's the hot spot for all the griefers in this game apparently. There we go. Once you get to the sell option right over here, there is no griefer that's going to be troubling you. And uh, fortunately, I came up here in time. And as you guys can see, let me just go ahead and sell this one. Uh, these are the cougar belts that we got, I believe, before I even got disconnected. There we go. Let me just sell that one. I also got a big game meat. So yeah, let's just go ahead and see how much money I'm actually going to be making using this particular method. So as you guys can see, I made like 75 cents from the bluegill fish because I only got like uh, one of those fish. And rock bass, I made $6. That's nice. Very nice indeed. And $2 from uh, this one. $3 from this. Largemouth bass, $6. And also got $1.2 for the bird carcass, for the turkey carcass that we just made. So apparently, guys, seems like if you stay down there for a lot of time, you will eventually be spawning more fish. And you'll also be getting more fish. So it completely depends on you guys how much longer you're going to be staying down there. And if you guys did enjoy any second of this video, please... Make sure to go ahead, drop a like, that would really help the channel out. And if you guys are new to this channel and want to know what I post on this channel, I actually post all of the money glitch, XP, faster ways of ranking up, and a couple of stuff like that on Reddit online. And I also do some gameplay videos, random gameplays, funny gameplays, and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested on any of those videos, make sure to go ahead, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications so that you guys can be notified as soon as any brand new video drops in. So guys, with that being said, I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll See you all on the next one. Peace.